where, yeah. my, where my knowledge does. And this project of coming to the perfect understanding is then actually your atonement. Um, yeah. And so, um, so you I can think... talk about atonement theories all you want and you can try to figure out. But the question is, was the death and resurrection of Christ something for you? This, we, I've, we talk about this with apologetics as well, right? You can, mm -hmm. you can substantiate the historical claim that Jesus Christ was uh, a real man who was crucified, died, buried, and rose on the third day. The question now is, was that death and resurrection just an event that happened in history, or did it happen for you? Mm -hmm. Did he die for you? The same thing can be said when we say something very true. Uh, I don't want to give anybody the impression that it's not, but that Jesus died for the sins of the whole world is a very true statement. Yeah. But it, it's not comforting if you, if you can find a way, and we often do, to exclude ourselves from the whole world. Yeah, right. The question, uh, my question is, isn't did Jesus die for the whole world, but did he die for me? Yeah. Um, oftentimes, right? Um, and so... Um, and so we have to, uh, we have to put an end to our theorizing about the atonement to actually proclaim that Christ has atoned. He has reconciled mm -hmm. you. The separation between you and God um, is is closed, and now union with God is yours.